Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to talk about nine things that you can hide in a SharePoint site. So we will talk about how to hide uh, the name of the site in a communication site and a team site, how we can hide the navigation um, in a team and a communication site, how we can hide uh, web parts. And uh, so let's start. So. We're currently in a new Teams site, SharePoint Teams site, and uh, let's see how we can hide the title. You see, this is the hide title, but sometimes we don't want to see that. So we will go here to the gear icon, click it, and we will click on change the look. Change the look, we will go to the header, and if we scroll down, we will see site title visuality. If I change it, you see, it went away. And then actually we can um, hide it. By the way, here we can also uh, play around with the layout. If you want a large one, a standard one, a minimum one, or a compact one. So this can uh, be determined. Let's uh, put the title back. So this is for a team site. Let's see how it is in the communication site. This is the communication site. We'll go to the gear again, change the look. We will go to header and the header. See, this is the header and we will turn it off. And now we don't need to see it because sometimes uh, it's duplicated. It's also on the site and also here. See, if I activate it back, uh, now we see it. So uh, this is actually how we do it. Uh, let's see how it is on the hub site. So this is our hub site. How do we know? We have this site navigation and we also have here this navigation that other sites that are connected to it will see. So in the hub site, which is a communication site in this case, I will go change the look and I will change the look and we will go to the header again we will hide it so you see we don't need to have uh, the description both in the site and in the hub um, if you notice actually you notice that this demo hub is the name of the hub site uh, sometimes we don't want to see that so uh, if I click to add edit the, this navigation it's not possible here to delete this link so in order to hide it we will go to hub site settings and here we have uh, show in navigation i will uncheck that and now this link went uh, away and we can add whatever we want uh, if we want to bring it back of course we go to the hub and uh, show the navigation and then we have it. So now let's see how we can actually hide totally this navigation before we ha uh, hid the name. So what we need to go to do is to go to the gear icon, change the look, and this time we will go to navigation. Here in this navigation, we will uh, deactivate the site navigation visuality. So you see, I turned it off and now we don't see any navigation. On and off, on and off. Okay, so this is actually on, we're doing it on a communication, which is a hub site. This is a communication site, which is not a hub site. So same thing, we will go to navigation and deactivate it. And the last thing is for a team site. So a team site, you see the navigation is not on top, it's on the left. So we can go to the gear icon, change the look. Navigation, here we can hide it and then we, we have more space uh, for that. But if we activate it, actually we can switch from vertical to horizontal. So notice this is on the left. If we switch it now, it looks like a communication site. So it's on the top. 
So uh, it gives lots of functionality, uh, but again, you can show and hide. Let's keep it like this. And uh, let's go now to how we can hide some of the web parts that are not used. The first thing is uh, the news web part. You see, we have it here. If we don't see it, we can edit the page and add, of course, on the plus, look for the news web part. So if I go here, I can search for news and I will find it. In this case, I have it. Uh, currently, it doesn't have any, any posts. So if I click the pencil and I scroll down, what I will see is actually I see hide this web part if nothing is here. So you notice that uh, before uh, there was nothing uh, here, but it gave some some demo demo uh, dummy stuff. But if I want totally not to show if there's no and not any content, I will go to the web part, edit it, and I will mark this um, checkbox. And you notice if I publish, uh, it totally doesn't show the, this web part. The same thing is also for the highlighted uh, content web part. So let's just uh, uh, go and add it. So I will scroll down and uh, just add the highlighted I. So actually the highlighted uh, content, you see it shows the recent uh, documents. Uh, but if I edit it and I can choose what is the source, what type of uh, things, if it's uh, documents or pages or everything, uh, let's say, let's choose videos. Uh, if it, we will not see anything, we have here the possibility to hide the web part. So let's see. What happens if we do this? You see, it, because I had no videos, it, it did not show it, and that's the functionality. <clears throat> the same thing is for the web part, which is called Sites. So I will add uh, Sites. The Sites is actually uh, 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 recommends the sites that either you can choose selectively you see I can choose fre frequent sites of the user or select uh, sites specifically so I could choose let's say uh, this one and this one and you see it appears here but also here if I uh, haven't chosen anything we have this hide the web part and now it totally hides everything last web part which actually we have this functionality is if we go to a uh, list web part so list web part is actually we want to show some list uh, in in this case I need to create a list because there's no list uh, existing so I will go to the home and I will create a short list let's call it demo <clears throat> and now we'll edit the page again and add the list to this page here we have the list web part and I chose it and if I edit it <clears throat> what I you see here by default I see see all now sometimes I don't want to to show everyone that so actually I can uh, decide to hide this show all and if I apply it the show all uh, does not show so we went through uh, nine uh, topics where we can where Microsoft provides us to hide either the title or the navigation if we want to switch the navigation from vertical to horizontal if we want to pre 
don't want to present uh, news if there's no uh, news or highlighted uh, content or sites or this show all. So thank you for listening and see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye-bye.